If you watched the show yesterday, Dion Cole was our guest on the show. And we had so much fun with Dion. Now, I've known Dion Cole for a long time because we're both from Chicago. Uh, we both do stand-up comedy from the shy. And I was so excited for Dion to be on the couch. It had, we had been trying to work it out. And uh, I went upstairs and said, hey, and he was just like, I'm gonna make you proud. He came down on that couch. He cursed so much. <laughs> On that daggone couch. If you watched it yesterday, let me tell you something. There's like seven curse words that you cannot say on television. Dion hit about five of them. <laughs> Take a look. Words. Everywhere I go, somebody asking me for some I'm <laughs> so. As soon as I walked in, everybody in there was like, ah, oh, he, <laughs> he gonna get the part. I I'm just got this <laughs> show. You over here cursing. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, my gosh. Some <laughs> Jerry, I don't you know. You know what? Dion Cole, if you curse one more time... I'm sorry, I'm... sir. I'm sorry. Now, here's the thing. When guests... When guests come to the Sherry show, they get really comfortable and they do have a great time. But Dion thought he was in Chicago in the basement. <laughs> He thought he was at like a little house party because every time he's sitting all back and every time he said a curse word, I laugh, but my eyes would look at him like, what do you do? What do you do? <laughs> like literally, I was hoping that it, he could see in my eyes, this is a new show. <laughs> I'm still on probation, Dion. <laughs> And every time he said the word, everybody's face off camera, y'all didn't see, they were like, John was like, no! <laughs> and then, okay, and then, so, and then he kept going, I'm sorry, sorry, and then he cursed again. <laughs> so, let me tell you something, and then when I asked him about older woman, he was so nasty with Barbara Corcoran. And look, take a look. <laughs> in this show, we we uh, we had talked about Martha Stewart and Barbara Corbin yeah. getting their, you know, getting oh, yeah. their best life. So would they possibly be your? Yeah, time? yeah, I slide down definitely. Yeah, right, yeah. Okay. I this I said Dion, and then my eyes was like, okay, you get nasty, Dion. What is you? And then Dion said about older women because he said he liked older women. He said, yeah, because I can smell them. I said, what? <laughs> But you know what he was talking about? Dion was talking about, because let me tell you something, women got so hot in this audience. You know what you smell? The heat coming <laughs> off of the women. It just was, it was hot in the studio. Heat was flying off women. I didn't know if they was flash, hot flashing, or it was just they was hot. But we had to hold the women back. Once Dion said he liked older women, it was women trying to sneak up in the green room. <laughs> to talk to Dion Cole. He came out with that white suit all swagalicious. <laughs> when I tell you, I was in the bathroom, it was three older women in the bathroom talking about, is Dion here? Is Dion here? <laughs> and so Barbara Corcoran heard about what Dion said. And so she commented, she said, Dion, call me. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, no, she didn't say nothing about Sherry. I'm coming back on your show. It's like, Dion, give me a call. And then Dion told you, I slide down him. I, yeah, I know you will. So Dion Cole, my friend, thank you for being here. And uh, <laughs> you better go on take Barbara Corker now, because y'all can start a whole real estate empire. So. <laughs> And, and, and get ready for all the cougars coming your way, Dion, because they, they are ready. <laughs> so I just have to tell you, I'm trying to get it together today. I'm so flustered today, you know, because my life ends as this talk show host. Then I got to go back to being a mother with my son, Jeffrey. And so all weekend, Jeffrey has been sick. And uh, it's still so funny, he has a cold. And now, at one point, did I not think to test for COVID? Because now when people get sick, you're like, oh, you just got a cold. You, you don't be. So I tested him negative a few times, but I was so tired tired because I was on the road all weekend doing stand-up with uh, my friend Kim Whitley. And so just, I got home and I was tired and he was, he had been home from school and uh, I said, what do you want to eat? And he was like, can I get some soup? I didn't have no soup. I, we got Shake Shack. I ordered Shake Shack. <laughs>
from DoorDash. I was so tired. And so this morning he got up and he he had had a fever all weekend, but he was just, he was fine. He was a little bit warm. He was still coughing. And I said, but he can't miss any more school. So I said, I said, okay, you can go. And he said, but I'm still sick. I was like, you fine. You can go. <laughs> You got a cold, it's just a little bit of a cold. And, the, and I said, Jeffrey, and here's the thing when you're a working mom and you have to go. Like, I gotta go, I got the Uber's outside waiting, I gotta get in this car to get to work. And he's like, but if I'm sick, then I'm gonna get, uh, I gotta, I'm gonna get other people sick. And I was like, no, you're not. Just cough into your elbow, Jeffrey. <laughs> and he said, he goes, but if I cough into my elbow, then that means I'm sick. And I'm like, you're not sick. <laughs> If you say you sick, then you gonna be sick. If you say you not gonna be sick, then you not sick. Jeffrey, just go and you gonna be fine. And, and I said, you are not. And he said, but then that's lying. And I go, it's not. I mean, it is, but it's not. <laughs> Jeffrey, and I go, I gotta go to work. And he said, but if you, but you said, if I'm sick, I gotta stay home. And I don't wanna get anybody else sick. <coughs> and I said, well, we gonna. <laughs> And I said, Jeffrey, we just gonna pray for everybody to school. We gonna cover them. We gonna cover them in prayer. And then he was just like, but it's Latin. And I was like, let me go. <laughs> just let me go. I gotta go to work. Like, the show started 10 o'clock and I gotta go. And so, and I put, uh, so I said, I'm gonna put some of uh, the little Alka-Seltzer there till you take it. So I'm trying to find the day or the night one. And I hope I gave him the daytime. I think I gave him the <laughs> The daytime, and I said, I'm gonna put it on the thing with a bunch of water. I don't know if this boy got the wrong medication. I just, <laughs> it's that mom guilt that happens all the time. And so I think he made it to the nurse ain't called me, so I think we all right. <laughs> and because he, no, no, no. <laughs> so because he ha was over the weekend sick at home with a fever and I felt so bad that I, I was on the road and doing stand up and doing promotions and everything. I really wasn't able to call him. But late at night after one of my shows, I think I was in uh, uh, Pennsylvania, I finally got the chance to check up on him. But again, I was really tired. So I texted him, are you in bed yet? So I didn't get a response. Then I jump up because I go, oh my God, what if he didn't make it home from his being out with his friends? And what if he's outside in the key? And I started getting so worried. So I called him. Now, mind y'all, I am take melatonin so I can go to sleep so I don't worry about anything. And when I called, the voice picked up and Jeffrey said, hello. And I said, are you in bed? Because I didn't took melatonin. I said, are you, are you in bed? And he goes, what? And I, and I said, Jeffrey, before you go to bed, make sure you take a shower, because girls don't like stinky boys. <laughs> and then I heard a voice that said, who you think you're talking to? Oh. And I realized I had called my ex-husband, Jeff Sr. Oh. So when I, when I tell you, when I heard that, who you think you're talking to? I knew that tone. I knew that tone. <laughs> And I know that phrase, who you think you talking to? That was through our whole marriage. And I jumped up, melatonin fell off my head like crazy. <laughs> and I said, oh, because their names are right next, it's Jeff Sr., Jeff Jr., and I was sleepy. And I said, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Jeff. And, and then I'm like, I'm sorry, I, walk, I didn't get the melatonin and I, I thought you was Jeffrey. <laughs> and I was telling him to hop in the shower. And, then, and I said, he is thinking, this girl still like me. <laughs> still like me. And I, you ever had that with the ex? And I'm trying to explain through a melatonin haze. And I said, his daddy going around telling everybody, this girl's still in love with me. <laughs> it's been 13 years and I'm still on her mind. <laughs> when I tell you, when I hung up that phone, I stayed up for two hours, I was so humiliated. Because there's nowhere to explain that. And I told Jeffrey, I said, I accidentally called your daddy, thought it was you. And he goes, oh shoot, y'all get back together. <laughs> No, we're not. So I just, I want to say to my ex-husband, Jeff, I'm really sorry. It was a misunderstanding and nothing more. But still take a shower, because women don't like stinky men. I still... And hi, ex-mom-in-law. Hey, Mama T. I know you still love me. Um... <laughs> So y'all, speaking of exes, Bill and Melinda Gates, they are back together, but not the way you think. Not the way you think. Uh -huh. but, uh, only to celebrate their daughter's college graduation. 
So here they are. They're both they're both posed for a picture. There's Melinda. There's their daughter, Jennifer. Uh, she just got her master's degree. That's Jennifer's husband all the way over there. And there's Bill Gates. Now, they split, if y'all remember, Bill and Melinda split in 2021 after being married 27 years. And it was not a good breakup because he reportedly, Bill Gates reportedly uh, cheated on Melinda. And Melinda says that the breakup was extremely painful. That kind of thing is uh, marital, extramarital affairs. And Melinda said that she was so devastated that there was days that she could not get off the floor. So I know that this picture taking, even though she's with someone, has got to be hard for Melinda because you're now seeing him again. And I just said, oh my God, Jeffrey's graduation is coming up. <laughs> And y'all, guess who I got to stand next to? Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. And let me tell you something. I don't know if anybody clap if you got an ex and y'all got to get together for any kind of graduation, any kind of events. Yes, yeah, coming up. These are the kind of events that's coming up. It is always difficult to do these kinds of events because I literally was thinking, I don't have to see my ex until Jeffrey gets married. But I forgot this boy got to graduate. <laughs> And the problem is, is, it's just very hard because when we get together, like, if people recognize me, they want me to take pictures and sign autographs, so I got to downplay it. So if they come up to me and they're like, Sherry, I'm going to be like, no, no, not Sherry. <laughs> and so that's not me. And then it, what I was thinking, I was like, oh, my gosh, we have to all go out to eat afterwards. <laughs> we all got to find an olive garden that's going to fit <laughs> all of the family members. And then, you know, your child knows y'all don't get along, but they want everybody, the child always wants everybody to be one big happy family. So now you gotta pose for pictures. Everybody gotta look happy. I gotta sit up there. He looking at me like, I know you still love me. And I'm like, no, I don't. No, I don't. Then you take the pictures and look, whenever you take a picture around one central person, hands be touching. The hands be touching and it's like his hand, I know your hand on my booty, get it off. <laughs> So, like, it's always like, will you put your hands so they don't touch? Now, we got to sit next to each other to graduation. You know when you go to graduation with your ex, you're sitting like this, you got one little armrest, but you, 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 you got to sit like that the whole time. You looking at him, he looking at you. And then, and, oh, my gosh. And then that's the thing. Oh, jeez. And if he brings another woman around, I'm like, I don't want no other woman at, no, at the graduation. And I, I told him, I said, we got one ticket. He said, no, the email says six. I said, one ticket. <laughs> one, one, and you can bring your mama. One ticket and your mama. That's it. <laughs> because now you got to go through some other woman. And they, the other person always want to get in the family picture, which they always want to get in the family picture. And I don't want nobody else in the family picture <laughs> except us. And I said, and she better not be coming in there talking about she a bonus mom. No bonus moms. <laughs> no bonus moms, Jeffrey. Her name is Miss Jenkins. That's what her name is. It's Miss Jenkins. Me, you can call me bonus mom. I don't care how long y'all done been together. It could be 20 years. Her name gonna be Miss Jenkins. <laughs> After 20 years. And then, um, I'm telling you, and then that's the thing. She bet Miss Jenkins better not be trying to slide into my pictures. So my girlfriend told me, she said, just didn't have Miss Jenkins take the picture. And I said, is you crazy? And then my hair gonna be cut off? <laughs> oh, no, sir. No, sir. It's just, it's so much stuff that goes on when you're trying to be together. And that's the thing, it's, oh my God. See, and then y'all didn't told Jeffrey a whole time because I didn't want him to know because they don't have, they're not, they don't have to be involved in the, in the stuff that the parents go through. So my whole life I've been like, you know, everything is great, everything is great. Now it's gonna bite me in the ass <laughs> when we at this doggone graduation because Jeffrey gonna be looking at him, gonna be looking at me, and I can't lean forward and go, I still don't like you. <laughs> He can't leave for it. We gotta, we gotta play nice. I don't even know how long this graduation gonna be because Jeffrey's last name is Daggett. It's a T. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're gonna be at this graduation all daggone day. <laughs> but Melinda, bless you, girl. I know it was hard, but you got through it with a smile on your face. You look good, girl. Mm -hmm.